action. Well, you see this this modern Sears? That's the same Sears I was trying to tune up over the summer. And I crushed it yesterday with the excavator here at Jerry's Rentals. There's nothing much left of it now. It's total crap now. The only thing that's still good left is the handle. I'm surprised it still survived. Just need to straighten that one end up that connects to the deck. Other than that, it's usable again. Well, I tried and tried and tried to tune it up. I did even did everything right. But <clears throat> excuse me. Enough nothing was working. And I said screw it. And I just got fed up with it and then and then decided to crush it with the excavator. So I Except the mower was at the sh right over there at the shop, just right towards my right. And well, somebody's coming with an excavator. It's a Kubota, but I was driving a John Deere excavator. So here it is, the the modern Sears I was trying to get running over the summer. Just killed it yesterday. Just squash it flat. First, I tried to crunch it up, get it all twisted with the the bucket and then and then I ran it over with the tracks and the track was spinning on it so that's why the engine blocks all shredded the pieces except the head I'm I can't whoa even the spark plug survived I am so surprised I bet the head may be still good the head cover but yep yeah, it's all done for. So there you go. A crushed Sears Craftsman. I really didn't want to crush it, but I had no choice. It's modern anyways. If it was an older one, I would have kept it. But it's a modern one, so might as well crush it. I like the snappers I got, the ones that still run. If, I, if it started having problems, I wouldn't do this. I would never crush a snapper. Even if it's modern. But the older Sears, like the ones from the early 90s, the late 80s. If it was if it was in really good shape, I would not do this. I like the riders more, though, than the push mowers. But that one push mower that I bent the crank, man, felt bad because that was my most favorite Craftsman of all time. Even though it had a Tecumseh motor, like this one's got... Well, it's unrecognizable now because it's all shredded by the tracks of the excavator. Yep, all destroyed. <clears throat> but anyways, I thought I'd show you the modern Sears is now history. Went to Longmore Heaven yesterday by the clutches of the excavator. By spinning the tracks around the engine block and man I can see the crankshaft connecting rod and <laughs> timing gear and all that stuff surprised the spark plug survived because there's pretty much nothing left of this thing except the handle and the spark plug <laughs> and the wheel right there maybe the wheels not the rim because they're all busted too bad I couldn't get it on film because I thought I left my camera out in grandma and grandpa's but it turned out to be in my jeans pocket and forgot all about it. So, yep. A, cra a crushed Sears Craftsman, a modern one. So, y'all have a good day and bye bye.